This is a Eureka Minion Specialita. I've been using this grinder for the past week. I previously had the Smart Grinder Pro, which I used for the past year on a daily basis. I also did a one year video review, which you can check on my channel. And I wanted to get a bit more serious in my espresso making. I've been reading a lot and um, I was hesitating between the Eureka Minion Specialita and the Niche Zero. At the moment, it's can be quite tricky to uh, buy as a niche zero. So I thought, okay, I'm just gonna give it a go and get the Eureka Minion Specialita. So I've been using this grinder for the past week and today I'm gonna tell you the three things I like, the three things I dislike and the three reasons why I bought this grinder. The main, the first one was the ground retention. The second one was the consistency of the crawfish and the third one is to avoid any coffee clumps. So hopefully, I will be able to tell you in this video whether this grinder matches my expectation and my what I was looking for in a grinder. Hi, my name is Francois from the French Review. Welcome to my channel where we talk about coffee, tech and lifestyle. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you don't miss anything. It also helps me to support this channel and to create more content for you. The three things I like about this grinder. The first one and is the most obvious one is the build of this grinder. It looks it's stainless steel, it's heavy, it's a beast, and it just feels like something solid, well built, and quality. That's that's the first things. It's way heavier than the Smart Grinder Pro. There's no doubt about that. The second things I really like about this grinder is it's really fast. It's really, really fast. I can easily grind 20 grams of coffee in like 12 seconds, which is five, six seconds quicker than the Smart Grinder Pro. That's not necessarily what I was looking for, but it is there and I might as well make the most of it. So yeah, it is really fast. The third things I really like about this grinder, it's, it's very quiet. You, it's, yeah, it's actually really quiet. It's way quieter than the Smart Grinder Pro. So, uh, once again, this is not something I was looking for, but yeah, I mean, I might as well. So it, it is fa it's fairly quiet. There's three things I dislike about this grinder. Uh, the first one is the hopper. The hopper um, look plasticy and really cheap. Compared to the Smart Grinder Pro, the hoppers on the Smart Grinder Pro, it's smoky, you've got really nice uh, seal um, on the leads. On this one, the plastic feels really cheap, uh, doesn't look very strong, and on the leads there is no steel as well. So, quite disappointed about the, the hopper. I mean, I, I do prefer them to spend more money on the grinder, obviously, but it just doesn't feel right because the whole base it's just uh, feel like something of quality and the hopper is just really plasticky so which is not great uh, it's not something i like the second thing it's around the porter filter holder um for some reason um it might not be an issue for you but for me i feel like uh, it, it, it's something i feel it's not right either i feel a bit i think the Porter filter for me holder, it feels clunky. It's just moving around, it, it doesn't sit right. Um, if my porter filter is on it and it can sometimes vibrate, I might have my porter filter moving around, not a lot, but still. Um, so yeah, I'm not really a massive fan of this porter filter holder. And the third thing, which is linked to the porter filter holder, it's messy. This grinder can be quite messy, especially when you're trying to fit 20 grams of coffee in your porter filter. Um, it's not practical. You may have to invest in a funnel. Then if you want to avoid any mess, that would be very practical for this grinder. Here are the three things I was looking for when I wanted to upgrade the grinder. So the first one, it's a coffee consistency. Um, with this grinder, I act, I'm actually not disappointed at all. Um, I get a really good consistency. I find it quite hard sometimes to dial in with the, the, to find the right settings. However, that being said, once you find the sweet spot, you get a really good consistency and the coffee is actually really good. The second thing is coffee retention. What I've done over the week, I've did a few tests where I used 20 grams of coffee in and I did get 20 grams of coffee out. So in terms of coffee retention, this grinder is absolutely really good. 
coffee clams. I, what I was looking for when I wanted to upgrade my grinder, it's a grinder that doesn't produce as much coffee clams as the Smart Grinder Pro, which is quite a low and not ideal when it comes down to espresso and channeling. This grinder didn't disappoint me at all. It doesn't produce much coffee clams or sometimes not at all, which is quite ideal. This grinder cost 360 pounds which is 150 160 pounds more expensive than smart grinder pro which i bought for 200 pounds i'm actually not disappointed at all this grinder deliver exactly what i was looking for um perfect consistency in the grind there is no grind retention and no coffee clams on the top of that it's quiet it's fast it looks good it's very sleek and it's well built that being said not really pleased the hopper, it feels really cheap, it's just plastic. Um, the second thing is uh, the portal filter holder. It needs some work, it feels clunky, so I'm not, I'm not really happy with that. If you wanted something a bit different, you might want to consider a different grinder. However, what you can also do is buy a funnel. Um, this is the one I've got for my grinder. So what do I think about this grinder? I have to say after a week of daily use, I'm really happy. It delivers exactly what I was looking for. Coffee retention is zero. Consistency of the coffee is actually perfect. Only once you find the sweet spot with the settings, the right setting. And the last thing is the coffee clumps. I didn't get or pretty much none in terms of coffee clumps, which was exactly what I was looking for. So I'm really pleased with this grinder and I would definitely recommend this grinder to anyone who is into espresso and want to up the game. So I'm gonna use this espresso um, for a bit longer and do a comparison with the Smart Grinder Pro. I hope this video was helpful. If you've got any questions, any comments about this grinder or this video, please leave them down below and I'll come back to you. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you.